Hello and welcome to the Sleeping Forties Podcast. Ah, number eleven. My name is Alex, and I'm here with uh, Benson, Ryan, I'm Michael. Today we're going to talk about our beer of the week, which I'm going to pick. Benson is going to give us his thoughts on Google Plus. Ryan will torture us with this terrible teach me segment. Oh, oh, oh damn! And Mike is going to do an instant asshole about engagement rings. Yeah. And we'll also pick this our is not biased. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I would not be engaged if she did what I'm going to talk about. But anyway, okay. <laughs> and we're also going to pick our top three grocery movies of the week and do our top five most wanted. You can uh, sounds good. Yep. You can email us at podcast at tipping forties dot com or leave us a voicemail at. 218-666-8407. And just so you guys know, we actually read every single email and listen to every single voicemail, even though we don't play them. Yeah. Always read them. Yeah. Even so if they suck, too. Yeah. Which they sometimes do. <laughs> we read them all. No, we do it. read them, so. On occasion, yeah. I mean, there's so, there's ones that people send we never talked about that actually give us good things to change in our yeah. podcast or our Let's Play, and then Always yeah, good so, suggestions. So, so send as much as you want. So if you do one? send us, yeah, if you do send us something, don't think that we ignored it. It's just because certain things work in the show and certain things don't. And honestly, just time constraints. Yeah. So, yeah. so and, don't we uh, have a? Uh, yeah, we have a voicemail. Oh yeah, we got a voicemail. You want to play it now? Yep. yep. Right. Hey guys, my name is hey. Joe. I've been listening to you for a while. I oh, don't have cool. any trains in the oh, background. Oh, he's not talking to us. I don't have any. No, are you talking over my life to express how much your videos mean to me? I just wanted to say thank you for doing the Let's Plays and the podcast and even Lunch Break. I've made a goal to watch everything on your guys' site because you do a really good job and yeah. please do not stop. Thank you. That's all subjective. but yeah, we uh, fucking rule. <laughs> we yeah, are know, awesome. Apparently. So he was saying nice things to us, but I didn't hear any trains. Yeah. He said that well, there wasn't any trains. You may be surprised to know that <laughs> Van Dunk, oh, Mike was uh, talking over him so <laughs> yeah, no when he talked guy. about trains. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, he said he didn't have any trains in the background. It's a real shame, but, you know, it's still good. All right, so thanks for the voicemail. Yeah, good. thank you. Moving on to my beer of the week. This week I chose Breckenridge Vanilla Porter. That's some delicious shit. It is very it good. Is. Uh, I don't think we picked any porters or stouts yet, and I don't think there's enough porters and stouts out there in the world. I think we need more because they're, yeah. they're fucking good. They especially go good with food, I think. Yeah, no, you really, food, they have yeah. to be really fatty foods, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, like I know, burgers. I know there's just yeah. some beers that don't go as well. Just I think I could drink porters with all foods. Yeah, but like have a porter with like a like a like a Caesar salad would be like, what, well, what the fuck? We'll is drink this any shit? beer with anything, really. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so this is uh, it's if by it's the free. yeah, it's yeah, by yeah, the Burn Company true. Breckenridge Brewery. It's actually in Breckenridge, Colorado. There's a ton of yeah, Colorado has a huge yeah, uh, craft brewery ton scene. of breweries there and I guess, skiing I got skiing. Rocky Mountain water that's why I, I knew about the scene before it was cool I just want to let you know <laughs> so I don't know if you knew so this out. beer is a uh, 4.7% <laughs> and it's called Vanilla Porter and as you'd guess it's a porter yeah. with lots of vanilla in it it has a very mm-hmm. clean uh, vanilla yeah, taste it's, it's very it. smooth yeah. for a porter mm-hmm. and just it's, it's, it's so good I, yeah. that's all I have to say <sighs> Break, Breckenridge has some uh, has some other beers good too. Beers. They're pretty low percent alcohol per volume, but, but uh, they're, they're all good. They're they're delicious. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. that on draft is one of the best beers I've ever yeah, had. It's on draft, I never had it on draft. They had it at one of the local bars here for like a month, and I went there like three times in a month, and then they <laughs> ran out, and I cried. It's like no. It is a. Uh, it is fantastic. I like it a mm-hmm. lot. So yeah, like I was saying, we just need it's more. Cheap. We need more porters and stouts, man. Need more. Well, it's it's kind of, it's pretty cheap. It's like eight here. bucks a it's six pretty pack. Cheap here, yeah, but who knows? True. Probably up, you know, out east or up north. You know, well, in Colorado, it's, it's probably cheap. really cheap. Yeah. But. yeah, they actually have restaurants and stuff in Colorado for that. Yeah, this is like cheaper nice. than Molson here, <laughs> but like yeah. if you go back to New York, Molson's close, so it's like yeah, really have cheap. we talked about Molson? I, I really wish that I could drink Molson. Yeah. They, they sell they it. They have it. It's just like fourteen dollars. <laughs> it's not worth it. Yeah, it's like the super Canadian beer, right? Yeah, from where I'm from, that's like. A cheapo, you know, like grocery store beer, but yeah. down here it's expensive. So, yeah. all right, so now we're going to Benson's segment. Okay, um, I'm going to be talking about Google Plus. You guys know what Google Plus is? It just came out. I haven't been invited yet. What is that? Yeah, <laughs> I had two um, friends invite me, but I don't even have Facebook. So I don't. What's the point? Because they don't, don't have like any friends it's, either. It's been out for. Well, it's been it's been out in limited release. Um, I guess you need to. Be, it's like invite only. They're doing the so beta thing. That whatever. There's it's, 10 million it's users kind of now. Bit, yeah, there's a lot of people on it now. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of been opening up a lot more. But um, you know, 
I don't know if any of you guys have used it at all. Nope. I, yeah, I haven't gotten to use it. Yeah, I didn't think so. I know that uh, Ryan hasn't because he hates yeah. Facebook and doesn't use that. So One of my yeah. coworkers was using it, and he doesn't like Facebook either. And he said for the most part he didn't like it, but there was a couple things with groups that he really liked. So. Yeah, I'm going to talk about that, yeah. actually. Um, so basically for the uninformed, Google Plus is the new uh, answer to Facebook. That's Google's like new big social networking platform. And they've tried to launch things in the past that would be like vaguely comparable, um, Buzz to other services. Yeah, such that as Buzz, well. which w Buzz was terrible because it was all it awful. all it did was take your Gmail contacts and assume they all wanted to give status. Oh updates, yeah, basically. yeah. If you just sent one email between somebody, because I had someone, I had one of the lead people at Vimeo because we were working on lunch break and we had yeah. to fix our account. And I saw every picture of his for like a year. I was like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> yeah, see, and so Buzz Privacy. was... Privacy. <laughs> yeah, no. Buzz was he a, didn't care. Buzz was terrible, and no one no one liked it. No one used it either. Um, and they also have Orkut. You've probably heard of Orkut. Yeah, yeah. And that big is, in Brazil. Um, yeah, it's, it's used mainly in Brazil and India. Actually, yeah. it's big in India too. Um, but here, no one really liked it. Also, that name's terrible. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. They named it after the guy who developed it, apparently, that's but that's dumb, a bad idea. And then <laughs> they also tried other multi-user things. Uh, Google Wave, which was a, um, it was I a used that multi-user collaboration platform. That basically. thing was really awesome at times, but most of the time it wasn't. Yeah, well, they didn't even that's make that issues. though. They, I think, they bought it. Oh, okay. Um, one thing they definitely bought was Haiku. Did you ever hear about that? No. Oh, Haiku. I, I kind of know about this service. Was it again? It's Twitter. Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's right. just Twitter. That's all it is, except by Google. And also, it's haiku, but they spelled it with a J instead of an yep. H. I don't understand why. why. Jaiku? I don't know. Sometimes their names are fine. Oh, they spell it with an I. What's that? <laughs> Shut up. I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> what was that? He Keep going. Keep that. going. Wow. <laughs> anyway, Google Plus, Google Plus is a whole different animal. All right. So, it, one thing is that it's its own standalone thing that they developed it's not bought because they bought haiku they bought wave i think or i know they sold wave um now apache owns it but, oh really i didn't know that yeah well, that's interesting but um apache has money <laughs> <laughs> guess so <laughs> question but you know they've collected all their new communication tools into one place with google plus mm -hmm. that's essentially what it is and it's meant to fight facebook um really i mean if you want to boil you know boil it down it really is the new facebook platform from Google. And so, you know, Facebook is a social platform. Everyone knows what it is. It's for friends and acquaintances to interact. And, you know, Twitter is, is big oh, too. Twitter. And that's geared toward people giving info, Celebrities. you know, indirectly. It's yeah, Twitter is like a billboard almost of you. Yeah. You're like, and hey, let me squawk. Just say the sandwich. With Google yeah. Plus, though, <laughs> what they've approved. done is they've tried to like integrate both of those ideas into uh, one platform. Um, the reason that it's like that is because what they did is instead of on you know Facebook where you have a friend or on Twitter where you have a follower and people following you, mm -hmm. um, they, they created this thing called circles. And these are basically groups of people that you're following. And you can go right. like, I'm going to put this person into my... Oh, like your family. Yeah, family Separate circle. Problem. Or I'm going to put this person into my... That's a my good idea. Other circle, yeah. And the reason, well, the reason that this is interesting, okay, is because I don't want to talk um, to my family. Say, <laughs> well, <laughs> there's one, nothing. <laughs> that may be relevant too, but can people um, be in both circles? Yeah, yeah, you can be yeah, as many as you want. As many as you want, and that's why it's interesting because say you have a circle called politics, and it's all people that talk about politics, mm -hmm. and you go, I want to, I want to hear a political discussion. I want to hear people talk about that. You could go to your politics circle, and then only those people will show up. Their feeds, basically. Yeah, so, that's say, exactly what I want. A circle of people just talking internet. politics. I'm I mean, using an example. I know. I know. Why are you guys you? shitting on me? You can't even let me finish my goddamn segment. Jeez. Um, there's basically you can sort people by their circle, which is interesting because. It, you know, there's no other platform that really does that. Twitter doesn't do that. Uh, Facebook definitely doesn't really yeah, do that. It's uh, not easily. Facebook um, throws everything at you and expects yeah. you to figure it out. Yeah. And people and, do, though. That's the interesting thing about it. Like, people know computer IQ can run circles around me and Facebook. Hours on it. That's yeah. yeah, I know, because they just have so much time on it. So that's, that's the main big feature that they've added that's different. And the other thing that they've done is uh, the video chat, which is called... Uh, 
I think it's like huddle or something, but it's dumb. But uh, didn't know it's called that. Basically, you know, nearly at the same time that Facebook came out with their video chat, like a week earlier, Google came out with their new video chat, which is um, allows you to have up to ten people at once. On a wow, video that's chat. a lot, though. That's a lot of people. That's it a is lot a lot of people. Lot. Like you see masturbating at the same time. Um, Ew. And so <laughs> interactive circle jerk. Uh, the the reason of circle. course circle jerk circle the reason the winner course, gets the bitcoin in the center <laughs> of course the reason they came out with it um, is because Facebook was releasing a video chat so they were like yeah, they we're gonna Skype. do it we're gonna do it a Are week really? before them yeah. they already did actually um, and it's it's Skype based and Facebook's video chat is very 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 limited it's like it's separate it's kind of like a it's kind of a module, isn't it? Mm, yes and no, not really. It's integrated, but the thing is, like, it has no controls whatsoever. It doesn't even have a mute button. It's like it's literally you don't need mute. It's literally just like connect and that's it. Like, there's nothing, and it's it's based on Skype. They tried to make it really a uh, really bare bones. But I think they, they made have, it too bare bones. They have quality. to go to the lowest common denominator, do, though. Do you yeah. think? Do you think though that that Google tried to beat them to the punch, or do you think Facebook needed to get something out because I'm, Google I'm, Plus was beating them in that because I'm it's pretty, so much more robust? I'm pretty sure that Google was trying to beat them right. because they they Google knows everything. They, yeah. w- it, there's no way that Facebook hid the fact they're coming out with a video chat. Someplace. No, people knew for a so while. Google, they were going so Google, so Google went, oh well, they're going to come out with something. Well, we're going to put more money into it and come out with something that has something that they don't, basically, which is the ability to chat in groups. Which is um, awesome. It is awesome, but at the same time, I don't, I don't think really I think so. That. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on. We'll talk about that later. Um, so basically, in short, Google Plus conceptually with the new ideas they've brought is is a cool concept. Um, but I guess the real question is, you know, whether it's going to catch on. That's yeah, what's it won't be useful if it. Um, no. Now, I don't have a solid answer for that, obviously, but I have arguments on both sides that I think are pretty relevant. Uh, in the pro, you know, Google Plus camp, there's you know. The interface is nice. It is. I like it. It's really clean. It's quick, um, and I, you know, I think that it's really easy to use, and it is faster than Facebook. Um, so there are there are a lot of nice things about how it's set up, um, and the circle thing again is cool. Like it allows you to control the data flow a lot better, which is a problem with Facebook. It's yes, actually it is. probably my biggest problem with Facebook. So you don't show mom your party shit pictures. from people you don't want to hear about. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, you know, I can't unfriend all these people because I don't, it's not like I hate them. It's like, I don't want to hear them do. talk about stupid care. crap though. Yeah, or you don't want to show mom your party pictures from last night. Yeah, things like that, I guess too, if, if it's relevant, you know, it depends on the person. But the thing is, you know, they, you can't really control how your data is used or how you receive the data in Facebook, whereas you can do that with Google+. And, the other problem, though, the main problem is that uh, Facebook is huge. It's really, really, really huge. It's become part of it's people's day. Like, yeah. it's literally like, yeah. I got to brush my teeth and then look at Facebook. And so, for, and then maybe shower. Here's by the reason, time. though. Here's Ugh. the reason, though. For people like you and me, that's nothing. That means nothing at all. Because I go, we, me and you can go, oh, I don't like Internet Explorer. Well, I'm just going to switch to Chrome. Yeah, but that's we not going to that. work. That's not I'm... how normal people function, though. Normal it took them go, hundreds of hours to learn that. Yeah, they go, I know how to use Facebook, like especially older people. Mm-hmm. They know how to use one thing. They know how to get on and check their kids' stuff and send messages to their friends. And if they don't know how to do that instantly on Google+, Plus, yeah. they're not going to use it because yep. Facebook is easier for them because they've used it for so long. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I've seen people that can't change fonts in in word yet they know how to manage the permissions in facebook which is the most ambiguous well, strange thing and it's like well i mean my, it's because it puts so much time towards it but. myspace used to be big and then facebook well that's, that's that. one of the uh things that i actually but, think is going to go in google plus's favor is the fact that it is the quote hot new thing and people are just going to go over there for the sake of going over there well i th- i think that well i kind of touch on that in a minute too but uh i i i think it's not that Google Plus is complex in any way. It's just that a lot of people don't want to put in the effort. Yeah, yeah it's to a lot of work. Figure it out. I actually think that I don't know. I know this. <laughs> I actually think that people get a 
um, when Google does the beta thing where you have to have an invite to get in, it gets people more interested. Yes, it does. Yeah, because it's totally right. They're signing it's so up for thing. nothing. It's like, yeah. oh, it's like when do I get in? I don't want to get in. Yeah, the I had other, a, uh, I had a Gmail account when it was really early in beta, and people were like, "Why do you have a Gmail account?" Yeah, I know. Yeah, I can you too. invite me? Well, Gmail like, was what? pretty awesome at first. The game. other yeah. problem <laughs> too is that uh, a lot of older people won't understand the concept of how circles are supposed to be used. Even though it's like the it's most intuitive more administrative thing ever. Yes. Also, uh, even though it's like the most intuitive thing you could possibly do, it's like these are my circle of friends. This is my circle of family. This yeah, is the but the problem is that, to. that people don't care about organizing that stuff. Like most people, they don't, don't have to. I have, a, I have a question. Do you have to have yeah. a Gmail account in order to have an account on this? Um, you have to have a Google account. So basically, um, and yeah. Google, so still old a Google people account, with Yahoo and MSN accounts all over the place. That's true too. The thing about Google accounts is that um, they don't necessarily. You can have a Google account without a Gmail, yeah. But you can sign up for Gmail anytime you want with your Google account. So any Google service, you can. I actually, hate that where you log into your Gmail and you go into some website. It's like, oh, hey, what's up? I got your name up here. I'm yeah, like, YouTube you is really annoying. That, annoying. that can it annoy is. me sometimes too. Because I have to log in tipping forties. So. Um, so, the other thing is. Uh, you know, there's there's the video chat last, and, and I talked about that earlier. The video chat is awesome. The fact that you can do 10 people on video chat at the same time, it's really impressive, and that's unusual. And usually high-end teleconferencing like that is saved for companies that pay a bunch of money, basically. Yeah, we, at our company, yeah, we have to do it, and it's really expensive. Yeah, so the ability to chat with nine people is great, but the problem is that most people don't use video chat, and more importantly, uh, I can't imagine any circumstance where I would casually need to be able to chat with a bunch of people on video. <laughs> well, at the can, same you, time. can you do you audio talk chat? Wow as opposed to just video. Well, the chat. video is also too. audio, I believe. Okay, so I, you I can just get on a call, like a use it as a ventrilo. Yeah, yeah, I mean, well, you can just yeah. do that on Gmail and just call someone. Or yeah, well, the problem is too, though, if you're using video chat, you, you know, for something like Teamspeak or Ventrilo, great. But the thing is, the bandwidth cost is going to be way yeah, too high for you to. So you can't really do that either. So really, it's for people who literally just want to chat in a group with people on video, which I think that although the feature is neat, is a very small group of people. I can't imagine many people switching. It's really only for business purposes. Yeah, and collaboration for, that, for yeah. projects and stuff yeah. is useful. Things like that are cool, but I, I don't know how, I just don't know how much it would be used. Yeah. And so there is the also, lastly, last one I'm going to talk about, there's the neutral difference between them, really, which is that Google Plus doesn't have apps yet. Anyway, I've actually never installed um, a single app ever. On I, actually, I don't use it. I actually think that's a, a lot of people. Yeah, do. It, well, this is why I'm talking. That's why I said it's the neutral yeah. one for people like us. That is good. No we don't barbell. want that shit. No fucking you know care. why? Because Facebook is bloated. Yeah. Yeah. It's super bloated, and that's why it goes slow. That's also one of the reasons that the privacy concerns is because of all these third-party apps. Yeah, but John Smith for, answered five questions about you today. But that's the problem <laughs> with how many of these app invites you get all the time. The yeah. fact is. Normal people like that shit. They do. They do. They love it. And normal people want to play Farmville and build their stupid city and, take and quizzes have, and have zombie themselves. fights and all this other stupid crap. And the problem is that even though we think that's stupid, they don't. And they're going to Majority. go, well, no. this, they're going to go to Google Plus and they're going to go, this is boring. Yeah. That's what they're going to say. And whether that's whether that's true or not isn't really relevant. It just matters what the consumer is right. I I will say like I remember there are some really great apps on Facebook, but the problem is is this whole sharing thing. I don't want to share certain things because then I get bothered by people. Like yeah. there was this one where there was this music app where you put in the bands you like and it would notify you when they're on tour in your area. That's mm -hmm. awesome. I want that. That's a great tool. But then it was just like, hey, this person likes the same band as you. Hey, this person, you know, likes this band, which is similar. You want to listen to that band? And it's like, all right, now, now I got to uninstall this thing because I don't give a shit about any of this stuff. That's, Why do I? That's the problem, too, is that they, they build onto each other and try to add more crap. Because it's ad revenue. Oh, like you're saying, bullshit. feature a lot of people like that stuff. Yeah, they do. So we're running pretty far on time on this segment. So but let me, oh, we're uh, good. let me just uh, try to finish it up a little bit. So basically, the other thing I got to say is, you know, the, the circles thing kind of has that Twitter functionality too, though, is that you can put people into your group without necessarily having them accept themselves into your group. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to send someone a friend request and they go, oh, that's okay. That's you can awesome. have someone as a friend whether they want to be your friend. <laughs> so you could stalk them. Whether basically. that's good or bad <laughs> is, is another thing. But the thing is, though, the reason that that's relevant is because it kind of fights Twitter a little bit, um, allowing that. Now, the fact is, though, 
Personally, I think that doesn't matter at all. I think Twitter is going to be there either way, and the reason is because Twitter has a completely different feel to it. And the, the when you go to Google+, Plus, you look at it and you go, this looks like Facebook. So you're not going to use it as a Twitter platform. But Every single fact celebrity is it has does, a Twitter, too. Yeah, yeah. There's only one good one, though. That's why... That's why uh, that's why it's relevant to mention it, but I don't think Donald that Rump's it's really that. going to uh, really going to change anything as far as that goes. But anyway, the, all in all, Google Plus is fine from what I've used. Like compared to Facebook, I I don't I don't dislike it. I think that it's very bare bones, and I think that the the new like features for organizing and stuff are really cool. Um, but at the same time, I don't like Facebook, and when I use Google+, Plus, all I can think about is, this feels like Facebook, but without all the bloat shit on it, but it still feels like Facebook to me, yeah. and there's very little, they go, now we have this plus one thing, which is a like button, it's the it, same it exact like thing, button. and they go, look at this, is use the plus one? one, no, which is the one thing <laughs> that, that, honestly, Facebook that. and Google Plus both need that. They should. You should be able to vote down well, stuff. Well, it's just a masturbatory thing. I mean, people's like, oh, I like this too. We like the same thing. I'm so cool. That's all it is. That's what and it I is. bet you, yeah. within a year, YouTube will go to a plus one built in. Oh yeah, I think and they'll get rid of the likes and dislikes. I'm pretty sure it already so, has it built in. Oh, it does. The so, biggest. But I'm thinking they're going to get rid of their like structure. The so the way I feel about dislikes. it, in in the end, is that. Whether it's good or not really isn't relevant. It, it more matters whether they get a lot of people quickly. If they can yeah, get a real lot of people right. quickly, then they might be able to get people to convert their relatives. If they can't get as many people really right off the bat, basically, which I know they have started to. Um, How many users do they have right now? 10 million. It's 10 million, which is that a, was as a, of a, Monday or Tuesday. a real lot. Yeah. But imagine how many people are on Facebook. Oh, yeah. 750 Yeah, but I mean, this has it's been out like, a week or two, so. Well, that's the problem, though. Even though it's been out a week or two, if they don't get that huge volume right away, people aren't going to try and convert Yeah, they'll just go back to Facebook. People. Yeah. They're just going to go, well, oh, well, this even, is where all the people Do they are. even really need to convert, though? I mean, you could use both of them at the same time. But people won't want to. They won't for a long period of time. I mean, that's the problem with, like, LinkedIn and all these things. Even though LinkedIn's shares are a hundred dollars a share right now, but that that people don't use those services anymore because it's like, oh, I got to deal with this social network, this one, so this here's one, what you this one. Do. It's like, make- how to make millions? You make a new social network that basically you just manage both of them at the same time from one interface, and then they you get kind of do there that. Are so- there's <laughs> software okay. that I'll comment for you. I think Ping is it? Um, in the end, would I say it's better than Facebook? I would say it's more geared toward people like us. Who want to be able to manage data flow? Which are real computer um, users? Well, I wouldn't say real, but but yes, basically the people who are more advanced um, users of the internet. They understand how data flow works, and they don't want to deal with a bunch of crap. Yeah, I just but, think, but for, will it will it do well? I'm on the fence. I really don't think that it's going to do as well as Facebook. I, I think it's funny that people go after that audience like, oh, we want the advanced users. Oh, you mean the ones that don't click ads, that don't yeah. fucking fall for all the tricks? Yeah. So I, 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 just, money off I think that the circle thing is the only thing that's good because that if good. I want to make a comment just to you guys and not to my parents, I can do that. If I want to yeah. make a comment just to my relatives and not you guys, I can do that. Yeah. yeah so amazing. there you go. That's basically it. Um, I, I think it's all right, but uh, I have no strong feelings one way or the other. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Ryan is going to teach us about torture. Cool. So, yeah, torture. Um, I was going to originally do a segment on the history and legal no, that's boring. And problems I told you behind it. To. But, yeah, it's boring, <laughs> and I also did it this morning. So I'm just going to say uh, I'm just going to talk about really bad ways to get tortured. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first off, I guess uh, humans have been assholes to each other since the beginning of the time because some of these go way back. Um, however, I'm not going to do it chronologically. I'm going to do it, it personally, in my opinion, of... Pain threshold? P- worse, the, from, <laughs> from the least bad to the most bad. I don't know, okay. really. <laughs> I don't really know how to say that, because all of these are terrible. But um, <laughs> First off, there's the whole psychological section of torture. You know, can exploit phobia as a uh, subject them to long periods of discomfort, sleep deprivation, solitary confinement. Oh, so having a kid... Yeah, that or Guantanamo Bay. You're dropping Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones into a snake pit. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's psychological, yeah, not it dangerous. Is. But um, those are all boring because those are really. I mean, they're not. They're not any less effective, but 
they're not disgusting, which is what I'm going to talk about. So um, the, there's a couple. First one, uh, for the, in terms of least disgusting, would be uh, basically dunking, which is you're put in a chair, tied to a chair, and just dunked in the water a lot. This is used to find witches to see if they float. I'm not joking. I'm not <laughs> no, joking. that's like true. It's old, Salem. That's like the old waterboarding. Yes, yes. The new waterboarding actually. So yeah. all the thin uh, women survived. All the yeah. fat ones died. <laughs> yeah, and then and then when they survived, they're like, oh, she floated. She's a witch, and then they burned him yeah. to death. Exactly. So, She's made of wood. <laughs> you lost either way. <laughs> do um, fat people not float as well? I would think no, they, 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 they float think better. they float better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I see well, the, well, the well, the catch twenty two was if you sat in a chair and didn't float, you drowned, and if you did float, they burned you later. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, waterboarding, which uh, everyone's heard about, basically they put towels on your head, pour water on you while you're upside down, and it feels like you're drowning. It's bad. Um, if you want more physical pain, there's the braking wheel. This is basically they used an old cart wheel. Oh. They would tie your hands and legs to the side of the cart yeah. and just hit you in the center of the cart, and so they would break your legs. Yeah, you know, they would usually bang on your joints yeah. and stuff until they all broke. Getting a bit worse. That's just straight up pain. Yeah, getting a bit worse, there's flaying, which is the removal oh. of your skin from your body. Uh, Scalping is also kind of a subgenre oh. of that if you want to get you know technical. <laughs> so what's the per- first piece of skin they go for? Um, generally, they go from an orifice because it's easier to rip, oh, okay. so mouth or anus. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Crucifixion and stoning, those are old hat. No one cares about those anymore. <laughs> no, the rain is. Yeah. 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 Uh, the rack was a great one. Basically, it's this flat oh. table-like structure. You lay on your back, and at either end of the rack, oh. there are these cylinders that can turn. They tie mm-hmm. your legs and arms up to it, and they pull you basically apart until your arms and legs separate and your muscles rip. That's pretty cool. Yep. Um, if you're going to go back to some ancient Greece stuff, the brazen bull was a great one. Basically, it's a life-size bull made of bronze. With a door on the side, they put you in it and then put a fire under it and roast you inside until the bronze is white hot. Dude, Ow. who the hell thought of this shit? <laughs> it, it's amazing the ingenuity that these people had in order to torture other people. They couldn't just make a box. They had to make a bowl. They had a bowl. They, they some, did a bowl. There's, some, I, there's a bowl some sculptor. Of these, some of these torches I understand, but why... Why would you use that one? Because then the person would just die. Why even torture them? Well, no, they would do it slowly because it's slowly the bull would get hotter and hotter and they first get, you know, some burns and then they start, like, blistering. Are they, then... These are forgetting anything from them? or just Well, they like... probably knock on well, like, yo, I don't some, want this. Some tortures, some tortures <laughs> are used for interrogation techniques, but these are just mainly used to kill people. Huh. They just didn't care. You fucked us over, now you're just yeah, exactly. torture to death. You know when you stuck M80s underneath a frog when you were a little kid? That's kind of no, like that. I didn't do that. Oh, well, well, I guess I'm asshole. sedistic. I didn't underscore. Okay, getting, in, getting into the more, uh, <laughs> yeah. the more painful sorts of stuff. Uh, next, the more painful. Yeah, we're getting the more painful. Um, there's being boiled alive, basically a big cauldron of water or oil or tar or oh, molten lead even. That's bad. Molten you're either, lead? Yes, molten yes. lead. Yes. You're either dunked in slowly or you're dropped in slowly, slowly. or just thrown in. Nose um, first. Yeah, apparently ancient no, like Japan loved this shit. Uh, let's see what else we got. Here's one that's absolutely disgusting. Um, the use of rats. Basically, they would cut open your stomach and throw live rats in there. Whoa! <laughs> Who what? did that? Who the fuck did that? Whoa! Yeah, they would gnaw on your intestines yeah, in agonizing pain. Who were like the leaders in tortures? Like, they always say Chinese torture. I, was, classes, there's, so I don't know. Both the Chinese... Spanish. The Chinese were pretty good. The Persians were pretty good at it. Uh, it or, uh, medieval Russia was pretty good at it, too. I'll get into that in a second. The Judas chair which is a great thing. Basically, it's a stool. On top of the stool, there's a pyramid, a triangle pyramid, and they yeah, put you on it, one. butt first, mm-hmm. and you just sit there for hours. I've seen one of these where they rip. put weights on your legs and all Yeah, they would too. do that. they put you yeah. in weights on stuff. Oh. Going a bit further, uh, Vlad III, Prince of Wildshare, I think I said that right, um, is notable for uh, loving the pike. Basically, oh, I've heard they the put pike. a pike, oh, yeah. a wood pike up your ass, and they let you sit on it until it goes through your mouth. Oh. Yep. Using that, gravity. That one I knew about. Uh, here, yeah. Even more disgusting, sawing was a method of, method of execution in Europe under the Roman Empire in the Middle East and parts of Asia. You're hanged upside down by your legs, and they take a saw from your genitals and go straight down to your neck. Oh! <laughs> Apparently, the reason they did it upside down was because the blood would still be in your head, so you'd still be conscious the entire time. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Doctor's like, he will definitely be conscious. <laughs> this is this is good. This will be good. Here is here is actually this is this I don't think it's the worst, but this is the one I would hate to do the most. It's satchism, I think I said. It's an ancient Persian that method. Horrible. Basically they uh they put you on a rowboat and they cover you with honey and they row you out to the middle of the lake and drop anchor so you sit there and then bugs would come. And they would just start Ooh. laying biting you and laying eggs until eventually you die of dehydration and a whole bunch of other <laughs> That should be the guy who rode out and then they have two boats guys like trying yeah. to get onto the other boat. Like, oh, sorry, man. See you later. And that's yeah. why you spend most of the time just trying to flip your own boat just to drown instead. Yeah, yeah. that's that's like, what I would do. Fuck it. I'm was done. That, was that the worst one? Was that all yours? No, there's two more. Um, 
Oh, God. To be hanged, drawn, and quartered is a penalty from English yeah. people. Uh, okay. Basically, you were fastened by your legs or wooden panel to a horse and dragged around for a bit. Um, then you were hanged almost to the point of death. They didn't kill you. Then uh, the emasculated, disemboweled, beheaded, and quartered, chopped into pieces. Sweet. Pretty cool. Very by far, the, I think this is the worst one here, though. Uh, thanks, you, China. Uh, for nine, back in 900 AD, they did something called Death by a Thousand Cuts. Oh. Uh, according to legend, basically, they would tie you up. You get an extremely sharp knife and begin slowly cutting parts of your body, starting with like the ears, nose, tongue, etc. Pulling out your eyes. And basically they did this over a course of three days until there was uh, 3,600 cuts. Well, they like try to... They tried to like, do it as slow as possible. So, so that you wouldn't out. bleed out? Yeah. Wow. Uh, so basically weird. these were also done in front of the public, so people watched. Whoa. <laughs> so people on lunch break, hey, you gonna come, you gonna go down and watch some dude, cuts going on? Yeah, dude, let's go. Let's do that. Worse offenses usually mean worse torture punishments? Or yes. they just kind of... People try, I, I guess, I don't know, it's, it's varied all over the world, but the more, they, they tried to, you know, for example, they, they were saying earlier that if a woman was an adulterer, they would do like the, instead of doing like the impalement on your anus, they'd do it in her vagina. Or if she was a liar, you would do it in your mouth or something. Yeah, so if like a woman committed adultery, she'd be tortured. If a guy committed adultery, the wife would still be tortured. Yeah, exactly. that's basically. One, one <laughs> Although sometimes, sometimes it's kind of weird. For the drawn and quartered thing, that was only for men. Women were just burned at the stake. One that so. you didn't mention that I know about is um, they'll put you on a chair and tie you up while you're sitting down on a chair with your feet mm -hmm. straight out. And they'll put salt over your feet. And they'll have like five goats come by and they'll just lick your feet oh. until it goes to the bone. That's terrible. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so questions. That like yeah, hell. questions. Who the fuck thinks this shit? It's really disgusting well, I have how a question, good humans are making yeah. I have a question. Yeah. So, uh, what torture device would you make? I make? Um, Gotta be new, not patent pending. Is this physical or psychological? Actually, Actually, no, I got a better question. So let's say you had to torch someone like uh, Clockwork Orange style with their eyes open. What yeah. film would you make them watch? Well, that's actually a question we got from really Joshua. I, he I said, uh, "If I had to choose between physical or psychological torture for myself or one of my T40 members, who would you choose and why?" It'd be Clockwork Orange for you, and you would have to watch it like Kaon and Melancholy of Haruhe for hours. Oh. Mine was gonna be um, <laughs> make is that really I'm bad animes. animes. <laughs> I, I would make people watch the um, in Daredevil the scene and the fight scene on the seesaws, just that part over. And over. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> god damn it! Just right. make someone watch the entire series of Two and a Half Men on repeat until they die. Um, They're just laughing. I, think, <laughs> like, I love this shit. I think I'd have them watch the moment where Fred Flintstone accidentally invents cement. Uh, in the Flintstones. Yeah, the Flintstones. All right. He excellently meant that. Keep going. Um, well, that was it. That's all I had, really. Oh, yeah. All the questions you had? Any other okay. questions? Uh, there's, I only got one question. That was kind oh, of it. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's say you're a torturer, and they're like, make a new torture device, like he was saying. What 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 road would you go down? You got to you gotta yeah, spark what interest. What area of the body are you going for pain? You're going you know, for people slow are getting pain bored. or just yeah. lots of pain at once? I don't know. I actually think in a way, I mean, as terrible as all those painful physical tortures where psychological torture can ruin a person while still actually having them be alive. I mean, because all those physical tortures, yeah, they're terrible, but you died. I mean, if you want to ruin someone for the rest of their lives, you do something psychological. And then, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's like... Um, <laughs> Like in 1984, when you, you had like certain things you're afraid of, like they put rats on the oh, yeah. space, but they don't kill them. Yeah, they exactly. Just keep doing it forever until it just breaks. Until it soul. breaks the person. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Right. No, yeah. I. I don't know. I, I don't think, know. I think I think Ryan's a, a penis mutilation kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think that's just you willfully projecting your desires. <laughs> would, okay, so would you guys be disappointed if you started doing torturing someone? It's one of these S and M freak fetish guys, and they're just like. Oh yeah, yeah. So what do you do to them? Like, how would you deal with someone who gets into that shit? Do you just uh, just amp it up so that they don't two, like it anymore? Watch two and a half men on repeat. Just chop off. Like, like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm like, they oh, still love yeah. it. What 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 do you hate, <laughs> dude? Don't you know the SM community loves this show? Make them watch porn <laughs> with just missionary. That's it. Like, no, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is horrible. <laughs> Oh, she kissed him. <laughs> this doesn't even have John Cryer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that was Ryan's Teach Me. Have you thought of a Teach Me for Mike should be the next one? Uh, Mike's okay. the next one. I'm looking for it right okay, now. Okay, he'll look so. for it. So I'll, we'll go on to you know. Mike's Instant yeah. Asshole segment. Okay, so um, Instant Asshole this week. I, I, I tried to think. I haven't done an Instant Asshole yet and, and tried to think of something that really bothers me. And I, I came back to... I haven't been to anyone that's done this in a while, but... I've, I've probably met about a dozen women who have done this, mostly servers, 
mostly very attractive. Mm-hmm. They do this thing where they usually have a boyfriend. They've been dating him for a while. You know, someone's <laughs> locked them up. And uh, <laughs> Ryan's laughing yeah. probably about my topic. But anyways, um, you know, they're usually locked up. And I go, you know, I just start working with these girls. And I'm like, how, how long, you know, have you been dating this guy? And they're like, oh, three, four years. And then usually there's another girl next to me because I don't give a shit. I'll never ask this. And they go, oh, why aren't you married yet? Yeah. You know? And she goes, well, you know, he has to step up and get me this ring that I want. I already got picked out. And if he can't afford that ring, shit, he's not ready to marry me. I have never heard that. That's incredible. I've never, you know what, honestly, I had never seen this happen once until I moved to Arizona and met vapid women at a higher <laughs> at a higher percentage. Well, but, you're from upstate New York where all the women are broken, basically. Yeah. yeah. No, basically, no if, if, you, where they're yeah. From. if you give them a Buffalo Bill starter jacket, they love you forever. Like, oh, this will keep me warm. Just give me my birthstone in the ring. I don't care. Yeah. Oh, you got meth? Thank you. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, that's also accurate. But, uh, but yeah, th- this whole request of ring thing, it, it is insane to me, and I've, I've heard so many women do it, and it's, I, I don't even know where to begin with it. It's just like, if I was a guy, imagine you're the guy, and you, you, you're like, I'm going to marry this woman. You know, I'm ready, I'm ready. You know, I've been dating her for a long time. She's really hot. She's really awesome. Mostly, she's hot. And you get down one knee, and you're like, hey, you know, um, I think we're ready. Here, here's this ring, and she's just like, nope, no, no, that's not going to cut it. I want something more. Actually, I have it in this email. Look at this. And it's like, dude, that's like eight grand. Oh, so you don't love me? You just want the right ring? Get the fuck out. Yeah, that's what you think they do, but they don't do that. Also, a woman trying to pick out her own ring to feed, like, that's the purpose of the whole deal. The guy's supposed to, like, take that upon himself, isn't he? Isn't that the idea? Yeah, that's true. I mean... I'll be honest, when I was picking out rings with Ellie, I kind of asked her what she wanted, you know, like like what style she wanted mainly. Right. But if she went like, if I like show her a price range, you know, like I deliberately chose these rings, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, she, and she went, no, 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 no. No, you have to spend at least five grand on this bitch. And it's like, I'd be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> You're gone. See you the fuck <laughs> later. Because yeah. you... I mean, is there any better indicator that you should not be with somebody than if they go... Yeah, it's like a gold digger oh, mating yeah. call. Right? I know, better, better <laughs> yeah. indicator. You give them the ring they wanted, then they, you guys break up and they keep the ring. No, yeah, <laughs> well, actually, yeah. That's what usually happens. They that keep, keep that actually is a good sign that they're, they're trying to pull one. Oh, like, I want true. the most expensive ring. And I, I will say most of the time, and, and like I said, the, the girls that did this were usually like nine. So, I mean, like these girls were oh, that's really why attractive. They yeah, yeah. So I think they're used to getting shit and they, and I think they use it as a, almost a defense mechanism somewhat. Almost every one of them were dating pretty wealthy guys, but there was one that wasn't. The dude was poor. Mm-hmm. And this guy, like I met him once and he was like, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I heard you know, because I was fascinated by it. I was like, yeah, I heard that you have to buy her like this $10,000 ring. And he's like, yeah, man, you know, I, I got to save up all the time. We get in arguments about it, but I, I'm I'm trying, man. It's it's hard, though, because I'm, I'm just a mechanic. Why? Why is he trying? I know. It, it, this girl is really hot, but I mean, I, <laughs> just there's a point where you just go, no, dude, I, I, I can't. He's not saving at all. I just... See how long he can go with her before he has to get married and she <laughs> yeah. leaves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, it, the only piece of advice I have, if some woman manages to do this to any one of you guys, please, God, just talk to one of your friends about it. Right. If you don't believe it, I think you're going to be delusional because this girl would have to be very hot. I hope so. Unless, then she needs to be murdered or something because that doesn't make any fucking sense. She better be really hot if she's pulling this bullshit. No, no one, no one on earth is hot enough to to, to where you should be putting up with that. Yeah, that's yeah, ridiculous. that's still though. Kobe's wife. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think that he had the money already. Oh, yeah. Also, three million. He, I think he tried to have anal with that one girl. It didn't okay. work out so well, but uh, that's just my own theory. But it's anyways, big. and Kobe beef, uh, Kobe beef injections, but. uh yeah, you know, 
if, if you're in this situation, you're probably going to be delusional because this girl's probably going to be incredible looking. Just, just ask your friend. Just, just present the scenario to them, and I think they'll bring you onto the right track. They'll just be like, wait, she's a fucking giant cunt. Yeah. Just don't ever do that. So that's, that's my lesson for today. That's, that's how you know an instant asshole. Fair enough. Yeah. Good I, lesson. We actually <laughs> learned something. <laughs> I think we all know a little bit more. About okay, so I got two, two options for you because I think okay. that's actually better than just giving you one. First one is WCW versus NWO World Tour for the N64. We just did wrestling. Yeah, yeah we did wrestling. The other one is Date with an Angel, the movie. What is that? An, an American film in uh, 1987 starring uh, Emmanuel Barta and Michael E. Knight. Oh, oh Michael E. Knight, I know that yeah. actor. He's not good at all. So here you go. I guess I'll do Date, that. Date I'll with do an Angel. Date it sounded like angel. something you would like to do. The tagline is it. Jim is about to marry a princess, but he's in love with an angel. Ooh. <laughs> so. Which one's better? I, I think the princess is because, you know, you can't fuck a dead vagina. Well, it depends on that she won an expensive ring. What you ring. just said is one of the most insanely <laughs> idiotic things that I've ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I'm sorry, I just had to point that so, out. So, uh, yeah. send us your uh, questions about this movie that you, none of you have seen, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> just send general movie questions to confuse him to see what he says. Yeah, that was... Uh... That sounds pretty fun. I think I think yeah. that'll be a funny uh, little tale. All right. Next week. So now on to the top <sighs> three movies of the week. Fuck. So this is where we pick the top three movies that are going to make the most yeah. money for the next weekend. This next weekend's going to be for July 22nd. And for this weekend, I'll list the numbers we got. We've got Harry Potter, 169 million. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Transformers, 21 million at number two. And Horrible Bosses, number three at 17 million. So okay. Woody the Pooh didn't do fucking shit. No, made eight million. Who uh, who was right? Was everyone right? So I think Ryan like and Mike were two and one, and Alex and Benson were one and two. Oh, I oh see. no, no, Alex and Mike were one and two. Ryan and Benson were two and one. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Right. Yeah, because I was like, I didn't. So wait, I'm winning. Right. So that puts Ryan we're and tied. Benson at twenty and ten. I'm in nineteen and eleven overall, and Mike's sixteen and fourteen. I, I never like when we started this podcast. I never would have thought that you would be the person in last place, and yeah. I'd be tied for first. Like I know shit about movies. You know what? I I, I think it's kind of hard because I don't watch TV at all, and that's usually how you can gauge how much trailers are being well, played I, to see what I, movies are being popular. I think, I think knowing about movies is actually less helpful than just knowing what normal people like to watch this has been a weird year too because comic book movies are not doing well uh kids movies are not doing well i mean they they are that's true there's finally a change in dynamics because it's been it's been about a decade since that That, since that's gonna get hard like december and shit when like better movies come out and stuff yeah that's gonna be a lot more so what uh what's up this week so this week we got um captain america (sighs) hugo weaving's a great actor that that movie i I, I'm sorry. I like some Marvel stuff. I don't know. Captain America is a kind of lame character, one. but that Captain trail America, looks dumb. The worst of dude. That looks bad. I, <laughs> um, then there's also Friends with Benefits with Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis. I think it's make that do movie. Well. Also known as No Strings Attached with yes. Natalie Portman and Nash. I still think it's gonna do okay. <laughs> now the, the next one is Fuck Buddies. I'm guessing is the next movie. <laughs> it's called Fuck Buddies. Yeah. Weaving so, with Benefits. So write down your picks. Um, is those the only two? Those are well. There's the only two that are. I'm kind of picking. I'm, I'm going a little risky on mine, but I'll wait till they're done. Mine are on that. Uh, okay, I one. got mine. You know, comic book movies have been doing bad. They just have not been doing well. Green Lan- Lantern didn't do well. Uh, Thor didn't oh, do great. great. None of these movies looked that. I mean, and Thor looked the best out of all of them. Like, Captain America and Green Lantern looked terrible. I actually thought that the X-Men movie looked better than Thor. Oh, oh, yeah. And that movie actually ended up doing pretty well. Yeah. Um, Is that the only good one that's been out this year? Comic book wise? Well, there's not that many good ones that come out per year. There's (laughs) four that's been out this year. I think that's it, too. I don't think there's any more coming out. All right, so I'll just say what I picked. You guys all got yours written down? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I picked um, Captain America, Harry Potter, and then Friends with Benefits. I picked Harry Potter number one because I think Captain America is going to do about fifty million, and I think Harry Potter is still going to do seventy or eighty million. It could, yeah. The and then Fri- Friends with Benefits number three. I said uh, I think it's going to do Potter, well. Captain America, and Transformers. Michael Bay makes too much money. It's still good. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I said Great. Captain America, Harry Potter, and then Friends with Benefits. So did we all get different so stuff. Me, yeah. No, me and Kevin picked the same thing. Yeah, so. but I, I I'd like no, to I talk picked... about. 
Wait, is that you? No. Oh, sorry. I'd like to talk about Winnie the Pooh for a second, though, because that movie did terrible. Yeah, it did. I mean, it did worse than Return to Neverland did. Yeah. Remember that movie? What? <laughs> no, no was, I don't. <laughs> what about that dinosaur movie made by uh, Disney? Uh, that happened? actually made quite a bit of money. Oh, it did? For yeah, the first didn't couple weeks. I, I'm, actually con- I'm actually wondering what Winnie the Pooh's going to do overseas. Because that seems terrible. Like, no, that no. seems like something the Chinese people would love. Yeah, but you know what? It, again, I think the big problem with the when I made that pick was people don't watch that now. Yeah. They don't watch Winnie the Pooh. Kids don't know it. They don't even show the kids' cartoons anymore. When I was a kid, they still showed Winnie yeah. the Pooh. I just figured they don't show it anymore. Good, but I guess all the kids wa- went and saw Harry Potter. I yeah, they did actually. Uh, that that's what they said. One of the Which big problems one? were just kids' movies overall. They no. weren't doing good. Well, yeah. The thing is, though, Harry Potter, like. Uh, any that's what they're saying. Like anything that comes out around Harry Potter is going to be right. ruined by a lot because it's like Harry Potter just and this one's been so popular really well, I guess. Yeah, yeah. which is funny because I've also seen reviews from people who are actually Harry Potter fans that hate it. Like they were like <laughs> they were like, and it was kind of unfair because these Harry Potter fans were like, I hate this book anyways, like because they find the ending to be a cop out, which. It is. It's a complete fucking cop out. Hey, don't, don't spoil know. it for I don't people. Know I won't. I don't know Snape Harry kills Potter. Dumbledore yet. I would say that it's a pretty big cop out too. I would agree with that. But I mean, I don't read the books. But that's how that's how they wanted it to end, though. So that's how people wanted it to end. They I did. Think. Even though it's they a say safe it's, ending, they say it's a cop out, but then they're like happy about it. I think. So uh, who's everyone see Captain America. Uh, Not me. Not me. What's that? I, I didn't it's pick the Captain America. See Captain America. Who oh t- um, no! What actor is Captain shit. America? I don't Chris even know Pine. if I'll ever see it. The guy who played uh, Human Torch in Fantastic Four. I never saw that one either. So yeah, yeah which is terrible. also funny. He was in uh, Scott Pilgrim. He was a skateboard guy. Oh, he was okay, okay in that. It's whatever. I don't think it's a problem with him. I think it's a problem with that movie being one. A stupid movie anyway. They have to um, make it for the Avengers. Yeah, yeah, that's why. And two, it's about Captain America, who is a really lame hero. You know what? They better be careful with the Avengers, because that movie's going to cost them, I think it was like $300 million to make. There's a good chance of it's it not I think, I think out worldwide, it doesn't matter. That's the They're thing. Fucking Chinese back. people ch- saving these fucking assholes. <laughs> we say that every week. Dude, seriously. <laughs> Fuck you, international. Well, you I, ruined I noticed, I noticed Pirates the, of the Caribbean did bad here. Americans were like, yo, don't make these movies anymore. And then internationally, it does awesome. Well, I, I noticed they're making another uh, Sherlock Holmes movie. And I'm like, I thought the first one did bad. No, it did really well. No, 500 yeah. million yeah. overall. Yeah, yeah made it made 200 million so, here. Downey Jr. still doing so it? it did well. Yeah. yeah. Also, they're making a... Spike Lee's going to make a... Uh, Old boy. Kind of like it. No? He's going to make him like a do, do the right thing sequel, apparently. Oh, I don't know, Dude, man. I don't know. Yeah, that's one of my favorite movies he's, ever. He's writing a script on something where Mookie is actually a character in it, so I don't, they don't know if it's a do the right it thing. Kind of bothered me what. too. I was just like, Dude, uh, how, how do you? F- I want it to be. How awesome. do you put a sequel to that movie? Because the ending is so like abrupt and fun- final. Really, I think totally. Mookie's sure an interesting it's a sequel. character. They just know it's the same character. I think making a sequel won't be hard as in, as far as actually making one, but I think making it good is going to be damn near impossible. God, that's, that movie's so amazing. I don't know. <sighs> Well, whatever. I hope I hope it comes out amazing. I mean, whatever. All right, so moving on to the top five most wanted. Finally. This is a good week. Yeah, this we is had a good to, week we had to chop yeah, things but, off. Yeah, yeah, we have uh, five good ones here. All right, number five. I'm just gonna read what I wrote. 34 percent of iPhone users think the iPhone has 4G. What? Well, it's the iPhone four. They they did a poll apparently, and apparently thirty five percent of the people thought that iPhone four was a 4G phone. Okay, yeah. so um, that, does that tie one to the stupidity of the consumer, or B to the clever marketing? Well, we I think little, Apple knew. We should yeah, be a little more Apple specific knew. about that, though, because um, what the what it is, it's from a poll that said, uh, "How many, or would you, w- are you planning on buying a four G cell phone this year?" And ah. it was from there were they split it into Android, Apple, and BlackBerry owners, and Androids the twenty nine percent said. Uh, they already had one. Yeah. And BlackBerry, 24% they said they already had one. Even though BlackBerry doesn't Apple have one. Apple got the highest number? Rim, yeah. Well, well first Rim off, Rim won. doesn't have. Rim doesn't have a... Yeah, they don't either. Phone, which means all of them were wrong, too. Yep. And uh, the Apple owners, 34% Good. of so smug. iPhone owners... That's great. Smug, smug, yeah. smug. That means that over a third of iPhone owners believe that their phone is 4G, which either indicates one, They're they stupid. don't they don't know jack shit about the iPhone, or two, more likely they don't even know what four G is. Also, most people don't. I'm sure they yeah. boast about it. Yeah, I got four G, man. It's so good. Yeah, exactly. 
Well, also, Apple is very, very good at deceiving their customers oh, yeah. in that way. The iPhone. reason is the reason is because they call stuff the iPod 3G and stuff like that, which stands for third, third gen. gen. Well, yeah. to be fair, to they be fair, the that, iPhone though. 3 was a third G phone, which is why they may have had the confusion between the four. Yeah, but they didn't call it 3G because of that. They yeah. called it because it was yeah. third you know gen. Why? Yeah. You know why they think that? Because they don't care. They just buy the iPod no oh, matter yeah. what it they, has. Apple could shit in a the box. They would buy it anyway, yeah. yeah. But well, so clearly <laughs> Apple iPhone owners have no fucking clue. <laughs> it's great that they did a trap poll like that. It's like, <laughs> oh, it's so really funny. funny. It's really the funny. guy's a fucking genius. It could just be people clicking that on purpose to fucking Oh, yeah. All right, number four. Guantanamo Bay detainee. Okay, so <laughs> what this is about is really that asshole here is Mitch McConnell. He's a Senate minority leader for uh, the Republican Party. He's probably one of the worst senators to ever exist. Like, even most Republicans hate him because he's just a total corporatist prick. He sucks. But uh, he said, um, in defense of basically torture of Guantanamo Bay, he goes, these are not American citizens. We just found with the Kaylee Anthony case how difficult it is to get a conviction in the U.S. court, Mitch McConnell told Fox News Sunday. I don't think a foreigner is entitled to all the protection in the Bill of Rights. They should not be in U.S. courts before military commissions. So he's not even talking about court cases. He's talking about commissions, which are, which are completely biased and, and not a real case anyways. But the, the funny part is the fact that he uses the Casey Anthony trial yeah, as course. justification so great. Yeah. not to Dude, trial them in a he, civilian court. He is a career politician. What a fucking genius. He's a scumbag, <laughs> but what a genius. Yeah, people are like, yeah. I'm mad about Casey Anthony. Yeah, those bearded... Oh, yeah, they shouldn't have a trial either because they may get free. And you know what? They would. Yeah, they would because a it lot is, of those cases, they have nothing on them. They just exactly, detained them for yep. years. No, you're exactly right. It's, it has nothing to do with the subject he's talking about at all it's completely separate but the fact that people are mad that casey anthony got off means that they're going to be more likely to be like well i don't want criminals to get away with stuff <laughs> and, and yeah, that's that's what they do and, and the thing that doesn't even make any sense is like they ask these you know these common people about this they have no bearing one way or the other it's not like they're going to make any difference by voting in laws or anything yeah so it's like what's even the point of you know bringing the shit up in the first place it's just all distraction that's, yeah. uh, that's bullshit yeah <laughs> it's an asshole it is all right number three arizona senator Lori klein oh, yes. points gun at reporter <laughs> so we got a little bit of a uh sound well, clip here but, so uh, she was uh she was in she had an interview with some reporter and she was talking about, she had a gun in her hand. Well, she was talking about gun rights, basically. Yeah. Yes. And she was showing the reporters a gun that she carries with herself. And during the course of this, she pointed the gun, because she was showing off the laser sight on it, she was pointing the gun at the reporter. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's bad enough. And she said it was safe because her finger wasn't on the trigger. No, that's Even not good. Loaded, loaded, loaded gun. Not to mention it was a loaded, was a loaded gun, gun yeah. that has no safety. safety. Yeah, but that's that's well, that's bad enough. But here's the real Luger. Luger. No yeah, that's what I've been wondering, too. It must be like a 1940s German Luger. Why doesn't yeah. it have a safety But it has on? a pink line on it, so she mm. painted it, it or something. Like I don't know, but that's not the bad part. Here's the bad part. Anthem Republican Lori Klein was showing off a laser sighting on her gun at the Capitol in Phoenix, and while doing so, pointed the gun at a reporter who was interviewing her. In a statement, Klein did acknowledge at one point the gun was directed at reporter Richard Ruelas, but she claims he moved in front of it. KUSA has audio <laughs> Ruelas recorded shortly after the incident. First of all, the gun does not have a safety, but has a laser sight. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Secondly, I too make a habit of walking in front of loaded guns. <laughs> yeah. so what's that? How what? Is there? what? How many people on earth have you ever met in your life who would walk in front of a loaded gun? I don't care if it has a safety or not. I don't care if the person isn't even holding it. Even a gun sitting on a table, they wouldn't walk in front of it. It <laughs> makes no sense. You know, I, I, I was confused by it. They said that she was a congresswoman in Anthem, yeah. but then no one lives there. So what does she, <laughs> she represent? Just a bunch of empty houses? Yeah. <laughs> this is... Do you guys want to hear a little audio from their conversation? Sure. All right. Might as well. Uh, laser on. Yeah. 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 I showed it to you. I didn't see the laser. Right. He pointed it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Safety on. You pointed yeah. it at me. No, there is no safety. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is no safety. Wow. Yeah, yeah, there. Is, but there isn't. No, there isn't. <laughs> oh, it was safe, but no. The no, safety no. is my trick or discipline. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's me what, waving that, around in a building. That's literally what she's saying. Yeah. It's like there is no safety on it, but 
I was safe. I, I love how the, the reporter's filing a complaint. How about he presses charges for aggravated assault? Like, <laughs> that's what he that's, should do. She should be in prison. She should or be at least in prison. Probation. She should get a fine or something. No, if a, if a normal person did what she did, yep. they would be in jail right now. Or have uh, severe probationary, like, the, probation. No, she walked in front of it. doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah he walked in front of it. Guy peered his head. Whoop. <laughs> All right, number two, computer security guy. <laughs> so That's we got to set it up a little bit. This yeah. this is a, a person from the, the Chertoff group. He used to be the uh, head of the Department of Homeland Security. This asshole was the one who got us to buy all these body scanners that don't even work. Um, and his company made a ton of money. They're a consulting firm. They have a new focus, which is uh, dot secure. So let's... Okay, uh, well, you're playing it from the beginning, right? Oh, no, no, you're playing it from... Okay, so basically Dot Secure is a top-level domain that would be... Basically, you'd have to log into it, be authenticated, and it would be used for banking stuff. It'd be secure in return for forfeiting your Fourth Amendment Yeah, you would not be anonymous in any way. Right, there's no anonymity. Oh, there's no authentication online right now already? Well, no. (laughs) No. But anyway, uh, HTTPS. uh, No, no. But uh, not anything I this is know. this is <laughs> a leading leading security advisor for this company. Go. All right. Yeah, for somebody who wants to log on to the internet, would you use the existing internet to do some things that you like to do online, and then use this more secure internet to do online banking, for example, or stuff like that? Exactly, Rick. That's the premise. Although. <clears throat> Some of the Although technical no. discussion has suggested that maybe you would want to have two different machines uh, to do that to uh, ameliorate some of the vulnerabilities that exist when you use one machine for both purposes. Okay, so you have to have two different computers, to lo- one to log into Dot Secure and one to do normal stuff. So that in case someone hacks into your other one, it won't get into your other one. But they're right. on the same network in your same home anyway. No, ah! No, no here, here's the thing. <laughs> I, love, I love how he refers to... The two different intranets. Like yeah, they're yeah. two separate things. Then they go over totally different systems, no, totally different backbones. It's like internet two. They're plugged into different ports on your Linksys router. <laughs> One for I'll create a GUI interface using Visual Basic. See if I can track an IP address. <laughs> That's what that is. Dude, this guy probably has a master's degree. You know, he is, he is college educated. He has 20 plus years in experience. sales. And he's like, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. He has no fucking Dude, clue how the internet he, works. He thinks it's completely practical to own two machines that are configured in completely different how ways. How does a top level domain make a website inherently more secure? Dude, he's, I don't Ted, know. he's Ted Stevens. He Dude. says things about the internet to try and inform people but, when he clearly doesn't know anything about the, the internet. But here's the thing some, who he is. there's some guy above him, there are technology experts at that company. And they're like, oh, yeah, no, no, say that. That's okay. They're telling him what he wants to hear. That's why. Well, did you hear the, what the question the guy asked? He had no idea what the fuck Dude, he was talking about. It, it, yeah, that, that was, was the accidental, too. that was accidental great journalism. Yeah, it was a perfect question that, because he didn't know. That's why. <laughs> All right. Number one, Adam Sandler in Jack and Jill. This is a movie about Adam Sandler. It okay, was in California, on. I think. And then um, his <laughs> sister flies over from like New York, and it's his twin sister, which he also plays in the movie. Yeah, so, so he's Adam going Sandler's the Eddie both. Murphy route, basically. It's, it's worse. worse. Oh. This movie literally, literally, without a joke or exaggeration, looks like one of the biggest pieces of shit I've seen in a long ass. It's time. being universally like just shit canned on the internet. Like it's it becoming and a big... and he, he pretty much acts, his, when he acts as his sister. He's pretty much. Opera guy mixed with Barbara Streisand. That's yep. what he is. Yes. That's good. He oh, really is. And Al Pacino, yeah. Al Pacino, the real Al Pacino, oh. the, not a character, not him he plays playing. Himself. Yeah. He plays himself. He falls in love with Jill, who looks like Adam Sandler. <laughs> yeah. yeah. With a wig. With a wig. I watched the trailer, the two and a half minute trailer, and I, I did not laugh a single time. I was very depressed. <laughs> I, I actually laughed a couple times, but I was just like, what? This, like, <laughs> the, the movie is... The most confusing like decision in cinema I've ever seen because there are a million movies that Adam Sandler could make that easily make money they're all stupid and bad and not funny but people will go watch them but why this I don't understand why you wanted to get paid for two roles I don't I, I think this is going to really damage his career. Because Just Go With It didn't do great. And it clicked in it. But do you think... <laughs> that was years ago. Do you ago. think this movie will make money? Uh, I think yeah. so. Yeah, I, so. I think worldwide, well, yeah. 
I mean, it'll make it'll make probably sixty million here. That movie probably costs ninety million to make. I think though. people will go see it because Adam Sandler has, he has a very devoted fan base. Mm-hmm. He does. Um, Shabby Doobie. Like it or not, Shabby-doobie. like it or not, there are a lot of people who literally just love Adam Sandler's movies and will watch pretty much anything he makes, no matter what. I I've never. <laughs> I can't believe that the guy who made Billy Madison, which is a stupid ass movie, but like it's whatever, makes Jack and Jill. Like it's just, it, just the premise isn't funny. He's not the same person anymore. No, though. he's, he's not. just boring. He, he's he's boring, and he has a ton of money, and he can make whatever he wants. So he goes, oh, well, I'm gonna make a movie where I play both roles, and it's like you don't need to. Do it worked that, out well for Eddie Murphy's career. Yeah. yeah, actually, Norbit. Yeah. Norbit was great. So yeah, it, well, for yeah, his, Professor it, worked, it, worked, great. it worked perfectly yeah. fine for his checkbook. Nor- I saw he made a ton from those. I saw Norbit twice. Okay, <laughs> and with Norbit, <laughs> two times too many. <laughs> so well, again, thank you for listening to the Tipping Forties podcast. Send us an email at podcast at tipping forties dot com or a voicemail at two one eight six 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 eight four zero seven. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Thanks for so much. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.